Adventures with David. David, 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 David. All right, we're here with chapter four of David Liebehart's Clown Chronicles, in which he continues to detail what happened, or at least what he believes happened, when his favorite clown, Monty Melvin, abruptly departed the Bozo's Circus TV show. Of course, memory can be a tricky thing, especially considering that David was only 11 at the time of these supposed events, and the only other recorded history that we found is pretty scant. Anyway, here we go. Did we finish that story? No, we didn't, because you interrupted. What you happened guys, to Wizzo's spell? You, you shut up and let me speak. Get damn, you interrupt the whole damn show. Oh, you never even lived. David was at least was 11 years old when, when I became Cookie the Crazy Cook on the Bozo Show. You didn't even exist. So shut up. I'm just trying to keep the train up. on the tracks. Shut up. <laughs> you don't interrupt, Bonnie. Uh, you don't... You, you don't interrupt Cookie the Crazy Cook! And I'll never be Monty Melvin. I booed him off the show. Okay. Now where were you? You got me so all Wizzo confused. So Wizzo cast a spell to get Monty Melvin kicked off of Bozo's Circus. Well, you, you didn't even live then. Will you shut up and let us tell the story? You weren't even a little boy. You weren't Sorry. even a thought of. Let's hear the story. Okay. Well... I got Wizzle on the show to do an edition as Wizzle the, uh, Wizzle the Clown. He got the part. Then I says, I want you to show up the last day where Let, Let Rock, Mr. Dead, says only Cookie or Monty Melvin could be on the show. Now, let me tell you what, um, Wizzle, will you tell us what you did, you told me to do? Yes, I'm Wizzle. Wizzle, the, the magician. I told Ray Rayner. I told Fred Bell, who played Bozo. I told Cookie to get $100 each of $5 bills and put my rejection curse on the dollars against Monty Melvin. And then I said, by force, win bicycles. Now, what you're going to do with the amazing uh, Wizzo is tell the kids, if you vote for Cookie the Clown, you'll be rewarded a $5 bill. If you continually say cookie, 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 cookie out of the cookie jar, you will vote. You will get a swim bike. With all that to say and done, Monty Melvin doesn't have a chance on the Bozo Show. I'll use my crystal ball and my magic black rock <laughs> to make it dark and scary and crooked Chicago, Chicago politics. And then I told, I talked to... Wet Pause one second, sorry. Won't you, 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 won't you lay the puppet down because he's going to break it? Why don't you lay it down on the side okay. so you don't break the strings and stuff in it because it's, it's expensive to repair. All right. Where were we? I am the great Wizzo. Bozo, I'm Cookie's best friend. I am a demon. I am a mean shark. You're but I'm Wizzo, the famous magic magician. Let me tell you what I did that was dirty in Chicago politics. I whistle, put a spell on all of the dollar bills, each three bozo. Ray Rayner had a hundred dollar bill of five hundred, uh, a one hundred of five hundred dollar bills in his pocket. Uh, Fred, um, uh, Bell. Frank Fred, he had a hundred dollars in his pocket. So Monty Melvin didn't have a chance. So when it came time for Monty Melvin to do his last show, Redlock, Mr. Ned, the, our boss, he got a teddy bear. I'm Red, I am now, I am I'm Redlock Mr. Ned, the boss and 
uh, that controls the Bozo Show, we're going to do some strong Chicago politics. Now, the clown, bet it's between Monty Melvin and Bozo. The clown that gets the less votes will be booed off the show by all the kids and me, ringmaster Mr. Dad, and the one that won all the votes will remain on the show. The one who gets booed off the show has to walk off with a teddy bear and a cut onion in his eyes to make him cry. Hi, ringmaster Mr. Ned. Let's get it started. This is better than the grand prize game. It's corrupt Chicago, Chicago politics. Cookie? Yes, Mr. Ned. Uh, Bozo. Yes, I'm Bozo. And, um, well, well I'm Whistle. Can I come on the show? You were not invited. You just stay in the background. Okay, but I can use mind control and hypnotism to make things go my way. As Mr. Wizzle the Clown. Okay, and then Ali Oliver that loves to be an African American. Yes, yes, Mr. Ned, this is Ali Oliver with a straw hat. What do you want me to do? Well, yeah, I was given a hundred dollars to get uh Monty Melvin boot boot off the show. And then Wizzle put some um, magic um, uh, oil on it. You did the same for me, Cookie the Clown. And he did the same thing for me, Cherry Nose Bozo. How? Oh, how can I portray my best friend, Marty Melvin, who was a floor director on the show, and he replaced me when I was sick? You're going to do it our way? Or well, you're gonna be the uh, booed off the Bozo show just like Marty Melvin. So shut up and follow what we're doing, Bozo, or you'll be a no no. You know what he's some said? I'm our little Oliver. Respect Cook and the Clown. He worked with me on the Ray Rayner show. He, he worked Cutler Dudley, and then he worked on my police show. He was a puppeteer on it. We respect Cookie, even belong to the same Mason Lodge I, Ray Rayner, belong to. So, here's how the show went. Tune in next week for David's reenactment of the big showdown in which Monty Melvin is finally forced to leave Bozo's Circus. I'll also mention we have a new t-shirt design at artbyliebehart.com. It's a beautiful, full-color design of David with Jason the Cat and their famous catchphrase, Salome. You can also order David's new album, custom art, personalized videos, and much more at artbyliebehart.com. Till next time. Till next, till next.